all the sauce landed in the back of my throat. Do we need a puke bucket? Mmm, crack. Oh. Hey, what's going on everybody? For Thirsty Beast, I'm John Evans, no relation to that other guy, my step cousin who does some other show. This is Hot Cones, the show with hot cones and even hotter questions about your cones. I'm joined now by Jacob. He's a, a homeless guy who wandered in the studio. He's some kind of internet celebrity, I don't know. He went viral because he intentionally caught herpes for a clickbait video. That you, was, you went viral? That was not me. That was my stunt double. Okay, well, we got a herpes guy in the studio famous for herpes. Are we sure this isn't just some homeless guy? Oh, yeah, you know, he's... We got the right guy? Um, he does have a little bit of a homeless look. Does he have a homeless look? My home is next door. That sounds like something a homeless person Undisposed would Undisposed location. I'm just ready to eat. Are you ready for some hot cones? Cone me. Cone, hot cone. I'm gonna give you the honor to cone up your first cone. Which is appropriate. However much you want. If you just want to nibble, that's fine with me. That's you just a lot have of to try in a cone. the sauce. Very liquidy sauce. Yeah, it's very liquidy. I don't know. I went about to fill line. Fill line, like here. Show yeah. Show okay. Me. We're going about so halfway up. There you go. Yeah, yeah, to this ridge. Oh my god, gross. Here we go. We've got... Uh, I feel like I gotta tip it and sip it. All right, tip and suckers. sip. Brass quells. Jalapeno dill pickle hot sauce. You can smell the dill. Are you a Gwyneth Paltrow type person who hates dill? I love goop. You love goop, but yeah. she hates dill. What? All right. All right, Jacob, you famously once drank several hot sauces for fun when you were supposed to be reviewing a film called Space Cop. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure you're good at handling your heat, but are you ready for this poison? I mean hot sauce. How <laughs> confident are you that you're gonna finish the whole set? I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. You once attended an orgy uh, with more women than men in attendance, I might add. Do you care to tell that story while your girlfriend's sitting over there? Well, uh... <laughs> I have a photo. Oh, wow. We went all the way back. I did. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen this? No, I haven't. Well, it was invite only. <laughs> how many How many people are on the invite list? Probably about eight. What's Gotta the male-female breakdown on that? <laughs> four, four, five, three? Yeah, I think four, four. And then you could buy spectator tickets, too. Spectator tickets. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. All right, sauce number two. We've got pain is good Louisiana style. That smells like hot barbecue sauce. Hot barbecue sauce. <laughs> this one's thicker, so you can just eat it. That's a lot of sauce in there. Very serious question. Grower or shower? Uh, Publicist? Do you got any, any I don't people? know if it's impressive either way, so... Uh, Neither. I believe it's... It he's does more get a, bigger. He's more of a grower. Grower. It does yeah, get more bigger. Of a grower. grower. It gets bigger. <laughs> For sure. Well, you should see it when it's cold out, though. I've seen it. Does this photo look more like a grower or a shower to you? Definitely a grower. Is cotton candy a grower or a shower? No, it, it only gets smaller. Yeah, you play that in reverse, though. What do you got? Tenant style. Oh. It what does. did you learn from Christopher Nolan when you're on the set of grower versus shower? Write everything on your body somewhere. Oh, interesting. As a young man, you were in a violent gang, but you've come a long way. Uh, I'd like you to explain some of these gang signs to me. And what do you have to say to the young people falling into the same cycle of violence in the gang-addled streets of Poplar Bluff, Missouri? What, are, what were these? What are these? These mean? are from the hard streets of London. London. Actually. You brought you brought Poplar Bluff violence to London. Yeah, this is the gang sign for people who have been to five Ben and Jerry's in the same day. You went to five Ben and Jerry's in one day? Yeah, we found out that. Ben and Jerry's has a day where you can go and get a free scoop of ice cream. And so I mapped out all the Ben and Jerry's in the greater London area, how to hit them in order so that you could start at one and get to all of them by the end of the day. The first one was nice enough to tell me that if you just keep getting in line, they'll keep giving you free scoops. You don't have to get on the train 12 times. Me and those two made it to five different Ben and Jerry's. No, I don't think I ate ice cream for a while after that. How are we feeling on the heat? <sighs> Burping a lot. Like a three. You're yeah. at a three. I'm very burpy. I'm very just a, burpy. I'm just a burpy guy. Okay, what are we at now? We went to more Ben & Jerry's than just five, too. How many Ben & Jerry's did you go to? I don't remember. It's quite a day. There were at least five, though. The Ben & Jerry's. Because I know she dropped out, and me and 
him went to find so one or two was, more. So this was, we went to five Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of Ben and Jerry's in London. All right, green aid. What do we add on the green aid? Tangy green chili sauce. I think it's like jalapeno -y. It's very vinegary. It's a little too vinegary. I like it. Pretty good. It is vinegary. Yeah. We'll give you that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jeff. It's just me zooming in and out nonstop. <laughs> Your camera four, it's fine. Wee, 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 wee. So here's a picture of you and Jess wearing matching outfits. What's the strangest thing Jess has ever made you wear? And do you feel safe at home? <laughs> oh, these are in the closet still. They're like original Snuggies. It's better than a Snuggie. It has like full wraparound coverage. What's the dumbest thing she's made you wear to match? No, because I don't acquiesce to dumb requests. You've never asked me to go too far. You can go farther. You can push farther. Yeah. I will. There you go. Time for the loudest sauce in the world. This is Ooh. Arrowhead Stadium. Loudest stadium in the world hot sauce. Yeah, so it tastes get, like a stadium. Starting to get the nose run. Oh, God. Womp womp. It's not too bad. Get a shot. Prove it. Mm -hmm. We're full of sauce. Oh, in yeah. Here. That's sauce. That's good. It. Ooh. That one's garlicky. If you had snuck that into the, sir into the sriracha lineup, you would have fallen for that? I would have fallen for that being a fake sriracha. All right, it's time for an Instagram deep dive. We're going to dive in that gram brought to you by S'more Control Spermicidal Graham Crackers for that family planning crunch. This is going to be funny because I don't have an Instagram, so... Here on the gram, you and Jess are pictured as Dr. <laughs> Krieger and his virtual girlfriend from Archer. Do you always describe women as this man's girlfriend, undeserving of a name for themselves, or do you just hate Japanese women? I would just like to be able to turn women off and on. Sometimes I just want to turn them on. What's the worst Halloween costume you've ever worn? Me and my friends in college once dressed up as a mariachi band. I feel like that was a bad idea. But I also just really love mariachi bands. Did you do brown face? No. No brown face? I think I had a saxophone. A tiny saxophone. Is a saxophone in a mariachi band? It would be a like minor mariachi band. I feel like a trumpet is. Well, I couldn't find a tiny trumpet. Well then. For Halloween one year, I was a fat guy. And I just had like pillows stuffed everywhere I could stuff and like 18 layers. And I was waddling around like a blueberry in Willy Wonka. And then it's funny because people would answer the door and be like, what are you? And be like, a fat guy. And they're like, <laughs> you know, because they're fat suburban people. So we're into the Reaper now. How are we feeling? Buckies. Bussies. Bussy? Bussies. Yeah. This is where you get it. Because yeah. it's a beaver. This, this so. truck stop is where you get the bussy. bussy. Interesting. I didn't know that. Carolina Reaper based. They say that. They... Indeed do. I've had reaper based, you know, things in it. And it's pretty chunky. All you have to do is put a little reaper in there. Qualify, right? It's starting to build. It definitely tastes like a taco sauce. It does. Here's my question. Who is this bitch? That's Dee Dee. She's uh, Dee Dee's. the tell best about, bitch. Tell me about this Dee Dee. She whines. Does she have a fart turbo? She turbo farts in order to propel herself off the ground. It's a little fart boost. Fart, fart boost. Where, where did this Dee Dee come from? Did you kidnap her? Did you sex traffic her? Tell me about this. I don't know if it's exactly dog trafficking, but I rescued her from a homeless person who was definitely- So you're not a homeless person. This wasn't homeless on homeless violence. Yeah, I live in someone else's home. But you stole a homeless man's dog, continue. <clears throat> no, she was- Paid for. Oh, so trafficked. She did, she was definitely paid over market too. When my coworker, what was the market price? I think my coworker gave this dude fifty bucks for Dee Dee, and I was like, he would have taken twenty. Try to haggle with your feet. It's on video. What's happening with his feet? <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> sitting like that. Oh yeah, I almost fell over. This is how I always sit when I eat. I know, but stop playing with your feet. Come over here, I'll play with your feet. <laughs> I would love that, actually. You want me to play with my feet? <laughs> yeah, here, you put your feet over here. I'll put my feet over there. We just tickle each other's feet this whole time. I like that. What was her, uh, her dead name? <laughs> Diamond. 
diamond, interesting. Yeah, because I asked my coworker after she got the dog, I was like, what does this dog go by? Does she answer to her name? <laughs> my coworker was like, he said her name is Diamond. I was like, well, that's not gonna fly. I'm not gonna have a dog with a stripper name. Stripper dog. So I renamed her Dee Dee. Yeah. Why? Uh, I like Dee Dee Sharp. Dee Dee, not Dee Dee Ramon. Dee Dee Ramon and Dee Dee from Dexter's Laboratory. It was those three all sort of combined. This bitch. Time to get to the Trinidad uh, Scorpion. Ooh. Yeah, the last one was all right. I don't say... This is very thick. Like I said, I think we were plateauing until we get to the bomb. Oh, it is a thick, it is a thick bitch. This is salsa, I guess. Well, I'm gonna put a little more in mine. <clears throat> very thick. Come on, thick boy. I don't know if I'll be able to eat a whole cone. Um. Oh, there's a fair amount in there. Oh, you're dribbling. If you were a pinata and I hit you with a baseball bat, what would it come out of you? Mm, insults. Insults? <laughs> yeah. Just... If you could smoke crack with any historical figure, who would it be? Mm, crack? I don't really want to hang out with any historical figures. They're just going to, like, talk. I have to ask them questions and any, listen to them. And... Any historical figure. Doesn't that be famous, I guess? Be your grandpa. I kind of want to hang out with the guy who invented crack, you know? The first person to refine cocaine. So Sigmund Freud's urologist? You think Sigmund Freud just passed cocaine kidney stones? Yep. I mean, Freud would be pretty fun to do coke with. There you go, Freud. Yeah. Okay. Where do you see yourself in 500 years? Oh, I hope I'm cremated. Cremated. Yeah, I really, I really don't want like to be this? alive. Like this? This kind of cream? Yeah, cream-ated. It's weird to me that cremated, Let's see cremated results in you becoming the driest powder possible when cream, come on. I, I don't want to be turned into an aioli. <laughs> want to be aioli -ified. I want to be aioliized. <clears throat> Everyone loves aioli. Time for... Oh shit. The bomb! Oh god, am I going to make it through this? I'm going to die. This one's also really thick, isn't it? It's going to get real uncomfortable real fast. Oh, that's, 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 that's enough of that. <laughs> How much did you get? How much? <laughs> I mean, how much more do you want from me? It's pretty thick. Heck. It is thick. It's hard to get out, and this is one is pretty, pretty good. All right, the bomb. Hasn't hit me yet. Has it hit you yet? So, because I was chewing the cone, all the sauce landed in the back of my throat, like the back of my tongue, back of my throat. Here you are, pictured with a giant pretzel. Though not eating it, you're gazing longingly through its holes. Mm -hmm. What's your ideal number of holes? And what's your favorite hole? Ooh. <clears throat> what's your ideal number of holes? And what is your favorite hole? I think my favorite hole is the donut hole. So one, or negative one, if it is the physical hole. Ooh, it's crept towards the front. Creeping. It's moved. It'll creep. Don't touch your eyes. Be careful not to touch your eyes. Can yes. I touch your eyes? I'll tell you that my favorite hole is the 17th of TPC Sawgrass. Uh, what's your favorite fictional hole? Hell. The hell hole? Yeah. Sam, Sam Hell? Mine is the 18th of the US <laughs> Open in the film Tin Cup. It's my favorite fictional hole, <coughs> which is best approached with a seven iron. You doing all right over there? Yeah, it got real spicy now. So speaking of golf, one time in high school, me and my friends bought one of those bags of like used golf balls. What is that like 20, 30 golf balls in a bag? That's a lot of balls. That's a lot of balls. By the time we finished nine holes, we lost all of them. All right, time for the last dab. We do a little extra on this one. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> I feel like this is going to wash away most of the other spices. There we go. You got to scoop some in there. <laughs> scoop, scoop it. Scoop it in. Scoop oh, it. yeah, stack them. All right. Stack them. Oh. oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's nice. It washes away the other spicy. 
So you're the guy at Half Price Books that tells people that their shit's not worth as much as they think it is. What's the worst reaction you've gotten from somebody who thinks their crap is way more valuable than it really is? I had one coworker who someone threw pennies at her. Okay. Someone threw pennies at her. That was pretty how, great. How many pennies? Like, a, like five or six maybe? It was pretty funny. We used to have this guy who came in and it seemed like his sole reason to come in was to yell at whoever gave him his offer. <laughs> Like he, he did, he was never interested in actually selling anything. He just wanted to fucking yell at whoever undervalued his stuff. Oops. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny when people bring in just moldy, gross, disgusting shit and they're surprised. You ever, you ever find any good porn? Good porn? <sighs> no, we did have someone who, uh, I guess this woman her dad died and so she brought in all the stuff they found and there were tons of men's fitness magazines and I was like oh your dad was into men's fitness and she's like yeah yeah we weren't really aware of that while he was alive and this isn't even the weirdest stuff we found you seem to be a very good sport about uh, being willing to embarrass yourself on YouTube <laughs> but has your YouTube boss some Jeff guy ever asked you to do something on camera that you're like, I don't know about that one, Jeff. <laughs> Eating a cone full of da bomb was questionable when it was presented to me. How about the diaper idea? Well, that hasn't been made public yet, but yeah, being asked to piss in a diaper on camera, that definitely has to break some I sort of- I don't think that was the, the proposal exactly. <laughs> I mean, you didn't tell me to piss in the diaper. I'm, I'm John Evans, not. Right, this, this guy Jeff. Jeff. Guy. This this Jeff guy. So he, he, he just told you to pee in a diaper? He didn't tell me to pee in the diaper, yeah, but okay. he's definitely setting up a scenario where peeing in a diaper is a probable outcome. How would he have sold the idea? As an endurance it contest, is. as a drinking contest, which isn't really that much of a drinking contest because we all know how much I can drink. It's more of a keeping the drink inside you contest. Slash yeah. diaper. Slash diaper. Wearing a diaper. Slash diaper. Diaper test. testing. Yeah, he wants me to test a diaper as so the, if there isn't a federal agency this that is, does this. This sounds very interesting, this idea. This could be a viral video. So so you you have a drinking game and then it's a bladder game. And then if you pee, it's a it's a diaper game. It's a three games in one. That sounds like a great video. I mean just comment if you want to see a bunch of middle-aged men themselves. Well, we made it. This camera, this <coughs> camera, this camera. Tell the people what you're doing, where they can find you. Well, you can find me at Half Price Books, judging you by what you bring in to sell. You can also find me on Jeff's couch, peeing in an adult, adult diapers. Question, has Jacob gotten his vasectomy yet? Oh, yeah. Get pay your vasectomy, Jacob. <clears throat> Ooh, pay for my vasectomy, people. Donate money, give money to Jeff. Specifically, Join my it. Patreon. I mean, Jeff's Patreon, because I'm John Evans. Pay for his yeah. vasectomy. Specifically, note that this is going towards Jacob's <gasps> vasectomy. You need some mayonnaise? No, I think it'll be fine. Oh, okay. <coughs> we hot cone. Right. We hot cone. Now you guys laugh and uh, shake hands. Ha ha, that's hilarious. <laughs> Why are you shaking the wrong hands? Yeah, I don't know. God, you did great. You don't know wow, how to shake hands? Great. No. We Sean, did it. You're crazy. Yeah. We wow. did it. Wow. You never get spicy. Now you do this, and then we, we touch, touch tips. tips. We touch, touch tips. tips. Chipotle tips. Ooh. Ooh, spices. Hey, There's get three. off my beer. Do we need a puke bucket? No puke no, bucket required. No. Pepper, you're my puke good. bucket. We're tough. Mmm, crack. I'm sorry, I pooped on the floor.